Miss Sandra and Dara. Dara's here and Andrea's here. Hi, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> let us know how the sound is. Yeah, please let me know if I'm loud enough because I'm not my complete self yet. This flu stuff's bad. I haven't, I haven't had the flu like this since one time we went out to 1920. Well, what we did is Shelly and I flew to, to Phoenix for CHA, Craft and Hobby Association. And we met Mel and his brother there. And we shopped the show looking at it out, just trying to see if, uh, you know, parts would be good for there to exhibit there. And then we flew, um, the next day we flew to Burbank, and we were at Burbank for a week. And I'm going to tell you what, <laughs> I was worn out, and one of the girls out in the factory had gotten some kind of flu, and she'd been to the doctor and got stuff for it, but uh, don't you know, man, the day I got home, here we go. And I was so sick. I had to go to the doctor. It was I think it was worse than this time. But anywho <coughs> I you know, I do nothing but sleep for the last three days days except get up and check on you guys online. <laughs> so hey Betty, yeah, I'm doing good enough to sit up. This morning when I got up and I got around and I was clean doing some dishes and clean up the bathroom, you know, just normal chores you do, you know. And I said, well, I don't feel great, but at least I can move around, you know. So I knew I'm getting better, you know. But then I had to lay down again. <laughs> but I've been thinking and thinking and thinking about, you know, what we're going to do with our class today. And I think I've got something that you enjoy. Hey, hi, Chris, and hi, um... I'm Annalise, is it? Or Lisa? You tell me, because I can't remember. My brain's foggy from being sick. <laughs> I think I'll it is Annalise. Again. Is it? Because I love she's that from, name. I'm pretty sure. She's from, yeah, she's, she's from Norway. Hey, Jan. Okay, good. I'm glad the sound is good, guys. Thanks for yeah, letting me know. Yeah, Hey, Jan. I hope we get a good group today. It looks like we got a good start on it. Maybe this time's a little better for you guys. It was nice Lauren could be here later to do it. And Monday seems to be a good day that way. Mm -hmm. Because they're here till 7, so... You know, that works out. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, could you go get me a bottle of water? Yeah. I forgot that. I was just going to ask you if you wanted me to get you one. Yeah, I need a bottle of water. So, today we're going to talk about image jewelry. Like, I, I said in the name of the um, video, I called it portrait jewelry. Because for me, that's the easiest. Hey, Melissa, Annalise, that's good. I did remember it right. Did I say it right? I hope so. Annalisa or Annalise or I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> I want to learn Norwegian. <laughs> I used to know one word, but I can't remember it now. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah, Lauren's here with me today. <coughs> and she just brought me some water. She's such a wonderful daughter in law. <laughs> you know what? really enjoyed having Javi for years um because Javi she does a lot of stuff that's hard for the rest of us but I didn't realize the talents that Lauren had she just stepped right in and she can't do all the stuff that Javi do, did but um because Javi did the website too but she can do a lot and she can do this is what we need to hi Chris so we can at least get on with you guys. I don't know how to work it yet so that you can maybe see me first and then flip it around. I have a thing up here. We could put in that. Would we be able to put this this in here? And then, whoop. We probably yeah. have to use two different phones. Do you know how to do that? I have not tried doing that yet. Well, but we could try it at some point and see. How do you learn how to do it? Experiment. How do you learn how to do it on YouTube? Okay. So maybe you can. She had experiment too. You know, that's how she learned. Step at a time. Hey, Michelle. So today we're going to do portrait jewelry, which means like cameos, um, faces under glass, which is what I really want to do under a glass dome. But I didn't have the right image here. And I didn't have time to print one from a digital download and seal it and all that stuff. So 
but that could be that. <coughs> or could be Dara's beloved eye jewelry. <laughs> she loves. Yeah, because we're still focusing on the Jane Austen that, style. That definitely comes into play. Sentimental jewelry, that would also be something like that. Something that makes a necklace really unique, you know, like... I have pieces in my vintage jewelry collection, and I'm not privileged to have any Regency or Georgian pieces, but I do have a lot of Victorian. And the ones that have little sentimental sayings on them, they're, they're my treasures. That, I just love that. I just absolutely love that. In fact, there's one that was based on... I have to get it out. I have to find it, and then we could talk about it one day. But I used to use it in my um, class a lot. She is obsessed with Ali Bisuish. Maybe Ali Bisu, is that what she said? Ali sure. Bisu Jewelry. I don't know. <laughs> if that's what you mean, thank you. If that's another artist, I'll have to look her up. How's that? Yeah, Dara, she, she, the eyes have it for her. You know, <laughs> they call that jewelry lover's eye jewelry. I don't know if I said that before. Or you just happen to know it. I'm sure that Dara does. But um, there are two meanings with that. And there's a girl on YouTube that shows you how to make your own, which she's not employing anything that you probably don't know already, but she shows you how to draw an eye, which, you know, if you don't draw or paint or anything, it might be helpful. I'm going to take a swig here. Oh, that feels better. So, anyway... Um, so she shows you how to draw an eye, so it might be helpful to you. I don't have a link or anything, but if you put in uh, eye jewelry, she'll come right up. Um, but one way to look at it, now she looked at it like more of a scary type. <laughs> what, <you know? laughs> like someone's watching you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like I always say, somebody's watching you. Um, she took it from that way. But really, I think the principle or beginning... Um, thing about eye jewelry was that it means your loved one's watching you, you know, like your husband or your boyfriend. And it had something to do with that. Or it could have been both, I don't know, but... So behave yourself. <clears throat> yeah, so behave <laughs> yourself, because, you know, his eyeball's right there. <laughs> <coughs> Somebody's watching you. But eyes are beautiful. I have to say that. When I used to draw, I used to draw eyes. I used to love to draw eyes. Not that I'm any good at it now, but I used to like to draw. Lauren's a good drawer. Mom is very good. And then she's exceptional, yes. Sh she's very good at drawing people. Here's Robin. It says Kyle Voltic. Yep, so she's telling us that it's Robin. Her name's Robin. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us, Robin. Yes, we're re really glad that you did. But... Um, Today, I, I noticed when I was looking for Regency stuff, Chris said to me the other day, you know, it is not that easy to find Jane Austen period Regency stuff. So I'm looking, looking, looking. I'm, oh, yes, it is. Right, right, right. I'm thinking, you know, she is 110% right. It's not that easy. And the reason is, is because young people did not wear much jewelry. Jane Austen did not wear much jewelry. She had sentimental pieces that she loved. For example, she and her sister Cassandra always wore this cross pendant that their brother had given them. They always wore it. If you watch, and you'll know this, Lauren, if you watch <coughs> Pride and Prejudice, the one that Colin's in, mm -hmm. um, Elizabeth and Jane, mm -hmm. name Jane, they both have the same necklace on, just like in Jane Austen, like sister. Just like that. Um, and that's an image, too. Any kind of image like that. Um, so, she didn't She didn't wear tons of jewelry or gaudy jewelry. But there were people. Hey, Lori. She's on my son's Kyle YouTube website. <laughs> okay, that works. That works. That works. You're impersonating him. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm trying to keep it together here, guys, so I can tell you stuff right. Um, anyway, um, they didn't wear ties. I know. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the pictures from, like, Sense of Sensibility, um, 
the Prime Prejudice, different versions of it, you know, stuff like that. Mansfield Park, I think there was more jewelry. I went to Persuasion, didn't see a lot. Only older women had it, like Catherine de Berg. Mm-hmm. <coughs> or like the well-off. Yeah, kinda. the dowager type people. And that's because they were older and they would have had Victorian, not Victorian, they would have had real Georgian jewelry that was from back then. So that's probably it. And But, you know, do what you want. You know, this is about design and being inspired. And I said from the beginning, we're not here to make reproduction jewelry, not by any means. We are here to be inspired by that period. And there's plenty to be inspired by. So I have some examples. Oh, Annalise, yeah, she was saying that she is obsessed with Bisu jewelry in the videos. <laughs> Aww. You're very sweet. Thank Bless you. Bless your heart. Not too many people are obsessed with me. <laughs> But they do keep coming around, and I'm grateful for that, let me tell you what. So this is the only one I got done. I had all kinds of ideas, but they were a little bit too ambitious for somebody who's under the weather. You know, you better shut that door. Yeah, I'm just about to. You might, you might tell them, too, that we're, actually, we're doing video. My husband's home, and he's just, you know, this is his house, so he's going to do what he wants. I think his pizza came. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, pizza came. I'm going to be eating cold pizza. Anyway, so here's what I made. Here's the other earring. It's a little set, and it's sweet. And maybe one of the young ladies would have worn this back then. You know, it's interesting. When you go to Pinterest, and I've been showing a lot of Pinterest pictures on the group and also in my newsletter. I'm taking a little bit of, um, I don't know what you call it advantage i don't know of those beautiful pictures on there if i know who the artist is i always shout it out if i don't i always say or try to remember to say if you know who made this tell me because i they should have credit for it and so <coughs> um let's pause for a minute i need those the cough drop yeah i need cough drop that betty gave me betty those cough drops work um, anyway, so I was looking in those, you know, galleries of things, and there's a lot of inspiration in there. If you just type in Jane Austen jewelry, I think I told you this before. If you just type in Jane Austen jewelry, there's a ton of stuff. Of course, that's not real Regency jewelry by any means. It's just inspired. But that's just, oh, thank you. She even unwrapped it. I'll tell you what a gal. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you touch my germy hands, you're getting sick. <laughs> <laughs> Better not. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, you, your mom, I think, had it first. Anyways, mm, that's better. So, what was I saying? Oh, you guys are going to be so put out with me today. I'm about half worthless. I just don't want to cancel again, you know? I don't. But anyway. This was inspired by stuff I saw in those galleries, which is not real Regency, although it's all based on Regency. And I just mean a little... Well, I mean, we've been talking how this is not, this challenge is not to no. be on the nose. So I think... People were worried about that, but this is just no, our inspiration. I think, yeah, because there are some programs out there too about real Regency jewelry, but by the end of them, they're talking about their handmade stuff anyway. Hey, June, you're not late. <coughs> Nobody's ever late because you can always watch it. <coughs> so, anyway, I hope I better uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'd like to invite you to do is go to Pinterest and put in Jane Austen jewelry. And you'll see a lot of stuff like this. You can see it's real stu super simple. I use my frosted um, German cameos from the website. <clears throat> I found an old button. I don't know if the shank's off the back. Or not. Yeah, the shank's off the back. Oh, well, that's what that was. Mm -hmm. It's a button. Oh. And then I had a little ceramic rose laying around. So I was like, wonder if that'll fit in there. And it did. So I glued it in. Hi, Jordan. Jordan's out in uh, shipping. 
mm-hmm. ship in orders. As well he ought to be. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but Orrin's here with me. Yes. That's his wife. Ask me. Oh, you're welcome, Jim. Anyways, so I put them, these in these cameos, I put them in the satin gold knots, which we have plenty of mm-hmm. at the website. Because gold was the main. 22K satin gold metal used. And this is vintage, this chain's vintage. It was actually a scrap out of the 1928 stuff I got. And I thought I had a whole roll of it anyway, so I go out there today, oh, don't worry about it. you know, you got more, so I go out there thought I'd grab the roll. Uh-uh. It's gone, so I gotta call <clears throat> somebody tomorrow and get it in here. There are, are a few places where you can reorder vintage, not many. <laughs> but they usually have some of that. So, you know, and I just connected everything. This is uh, those uh, cat's eye stone beads, not the... Oh, the, the genuine mm-hmm. cat's They're eye. real. And so I have triangular cut Japanese stones, which are real hoot. I love those. Let me try to zoom. One day I'm going to do a video on just stuff you can do with head pins and beads and how you change them up. I did one on uh, the help, help eats one time. Which we have the site. But these would work too. Oh, and you're it, fine, Sherry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> fine. We don't care. Anyway, so the, I made this. And then I made earrings. And I thought, I don't know if this is going to be too young for me or what. Not that that matters, but. But I thought it was cute. I put it on. Cute. It fit me just right. And it looks good. And these are not too big. These are the 18 by 13 stones. I believe. Yes, they are. This yes, is the 25. That's the 25 this by 18. 25. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot of them. As I think we do. If we don't have a lot, there are more coming this week later on. So hang in there a few days and they'll be there if you're interested. So you can make something like this. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um... And Regency Times, um, organic things were very, very popular, like natural stones and hair, as Daryl loves to play with hair, too. <laughs> I can't help it, dear. <laughs> but you did good. You did good, girl. You probably could even do, like, dried flowers or something yeah, like that. Yeah, under a dome. Absolutely. Like, yeah. you could get, or with resin. Yeah. You could get jiggy with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been working on my on my pieces. I started yesterday on one of them. I'm hoping to complete two. We'll it see. We have that, another yeah. week, guys. We have till the twentieth. Yeah. So. And there's going to be another video. It's going to be on Friday, and I don't know what time yet because Lauren has to say because she's the boss. Uh, I I think I'm good whenever on Friday. Five thirty. Yeah, we can probably do that. Oh wait, Friday. Wait a minute. Hmm. We might have to go either a little later or earlier because I just remembered that I have um, a doctor's appointment. Okay, and when's on that? Friday. When's that? At 4.15. And you go to Dr. Wise and that's the end of the day, so you're going to be in there three hours. <laughs> Unless it's the end of the day, then if they're closing the office, then I shouldn't be in there. Well, maybe, long. yeah. So, we'll tell you. We'll let you yeah. know. To be announced, but we're definitely having one Friday. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's Karen Gale. So, anyway, so I had if this If need one. be, we could do it Saturday, but that's up to you. But it would have to be, like, in the afternoon. Well, would you guys like to do it on Saturday? Because that works for me. That gives me another day. If we did it in, like, the afternoon. Yeah, like when? Like, three? Three to four? Would you guys like that? By the end of this video, tell me, okay? Yeah, just let us know if you would prefer Friday what you want. I mean, we're going to have to work it out on this end anyway, and I'll let you know for sure what we really decided. But but if there's like a majority <coughs> leaning, <coughs> kind of leaning one way, yeah, then, yeah. And this would be Eastern time. Yeah. So if you'd like to do a set, I like that. I just didn't, I thought you'd told me you weren't available. I have I have dinner in the evening. I think possibly on Saturday. I have to double check, but so that's not till like did five. It, so if we did it three to four, you'd be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So it's up to you guys. You just let us yeah. know. Just let us know. 
Okay, let's take this out of the way because I got other stuff to show you. Show us, Bisu. Show us. <laughs> I will. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, we got I two have, people for Saturday so far. Two people say Sarah. Just keep talking, guys. Yeah, just say, keep telling us. Tell us, Sarah. I'll go. I'm tell watching. Them. So. Yeah, she's watching. She's watching. I'm um, watching you. No, I'm kidding. Not like that. I, I, I'm I, not creepy. I promise. No, I gotta have somebody do this with me because I just <laughs> I'm old and I have ADHD. So, what do you? Okay. Oh, good. Chris said that she's so excited that she just placed an order last week and it arrived today. Oh, we're so glad. Got That's another so Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Our website was down this afternoon. If you went there, I'm just gonna tell you, it's not anymore. I got a new number for support for Volusion, and it's the upper echelon people. And that girl knew what she was doing. And she got on it, and she had the engineers get on it right away. And it's working the last I know. And it all goes back to that design program, program that they gave uh, to Javi. It's not anything to do with Javi at all. She loved that program. It's a great program, except it gets glitchy, and every so often you get 404s, and you got to get some help because you can't clear that. It's back now. So, you know, if there's anything you guys need or you like to place an order, we'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. You know, it's a weird thing. Anytime I get sick, everything stops. It's the weirdest thing. Is there are a lot of people who watch me. There are a lot of people who know about me. There are a lot of people who come to the website. Um, it's not just my YouTube people, not the creative group people. Uh, it's not just the people on my newsletter, which there are a lot of people who read my newsletter, believe it or not. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just some phenomenon. It's always been that way. Every time I went to Burbank, it was like nothing happened. I think in that case, people were waiting for me to come back because they knew I'd have stuff. So, Annalise says she'll come up any day. And Karen says six for Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, she's keeping count for us. She's helping out. Yeah. Karen? I don't think we can do it at six, Karen. No, she's saying there's six people. Oh, she's saying for oh, Saturday. Okay. She's keeping count for us how mm. many is saying which okay. So it's looking like Saturday. Yeah, right it's now. looking like Saturday. Which that's fine. So it'll probably be like three in the afternoon mm. Eastern time on mm. Saturday, guys. So anyway, talking about this. Okay, let me tell you what this is. Let me tell yeah, you. it's really pretty. Those beads are gorgeous. I don't know if I ever showed it to you guys. <clears throat> Pieces like this are a little hard for me to photograph because, you know, I have limited skills. I'm not Lauren. <laughs> anyway, somebody said to me the other day, she, she photographed a bunch of the old Choxy on a black background put on Etsy. And uh, she just needed to learn that that's not a good way to do it. <laughs> well, to be honest, that picture in mm. particular, I did it on the black because it was not looking right on the white. It was looking way too dark. Well, and when I put it on the black, maybe, the, it actually what, looked what brown. What your mom does sometimes <laughs> is she does it on a color instead of dark because it's dark. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I have to tell you this because it's funny. <laughs> Somebody came along and said, and I love this person. I'm not going to name it, of course. Them, of course, but I love this person dearly. But she says, can you take another picture for me? Because I have old eyes and I can't see it. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I got old eyes too. But I, I I, knew her point. But the fact was, is I said this in my head, not to her. I said, well, it doesn't matter. That'll be gone inside of 24 hours. <laughs> I know, I swear. I, I feel bad because I, like, I put all this stuff Not up. Not that I price because there was like four or five big pieces in it. And then oh, I'm, yeah. But I like I feel bad because I feel like she's always going to think that I'm not doing anything, that I'm not working. But it, I put it up and literally like within 12 to 24 uh, hours, yeah, it's gone. Diane's <laughs> loading the Etsy today, too. It so makes like, me wow. think, like, what do I need this website for? Let's just shove it all over on Etsy. She's going to think I'm not working. People's... Just tend to want to go there. Anyway, so, yeah, this is a piece in 1928 that um, I used. I love the beads, though. What beads are those? Uh, They're gorgeous. They were um, something I got. Are they Vitrell? Mm hmm The fire polish? Um, this is Chinese chain. And these, well, do we have a magnet back here? I don't see one. No, I must have put my magnet back. 
They might be iron, but they're plated. They look, I don't have a problem with that, but I'd rather not have iron chain. I've stopped buying it. These might be, and then these are some little brass um, caps that if you've ever gotten any of these from me, hoard them because I only buy them once or twice a year. They are marvelous. They look like, can you see that? They look I'm like they're, to zoom in a little they bit. look like they're hand wrapped here. Maybe that makes it. They look kind of like they're hand wrapped. I think we're just making it worse. They look like they're hand wrapped. To me, I just those love are the those. the beehive ones, right? Yeah, yeah. Now my nose running. Okay, you just. <laughs> I just looked at her like this. <laughs> She's good about it. She's good about it. Yeah, so they're on there. So this is what, guys? What style would you call this? I mean, it could be Red Reach. It actually could be Georgian. But what what is this type of a piece called? Does anybody catch my drift at all? I know you guys know. They look like a Montana Blue AB. They could be. I'm, doesn't, I'm doesn't on really nursemaid matter. duty today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I won't show you what she brought me. <laughs> hey, all I know is it works. Okay, so, <laughs> anyways, um, I, uh, I'm under Bisu Boutique Supplies. That's where we are. And I have a lot of uh, vintage stuff going up right now, so. But it'll be gone eventually, and then we'll be looking for something else. The name in this chain, I don't know where I got this chain. I think I, I think it was one of the the wholesalers sent me a bag of stuff, and I use it. And then this is check. I love these beads. They're Those kind are, of striated. They're pillow style and beads, right? Yeah. I don't know. Or no? Are those different? Maybe they're Two different. Two beads than the ones or I, I don't know what they call them. I have to look it up again to be honest. Uh, she's gonna make herself a tr. Will you do that? Annalise, and you got to show us at the at the creative group if you can, because I know you joined, and we would love to see that. And we may talk about that. I'm not making one for Saturday, but see, I'm already saying it's going to be Saturday. I love um, tiaras. I'm going to talk maybe about hair jewelry, because that is something that in I Jane Austen's day, young women wore a lot of hair jewelry. Especially if they went to parties. Yeah. Balls. To the bowl. To the ball. I hate bulls. <laughs> One sister said that. Anyway, so you know this is right. the only thing about this for Regency. It's a, for the younger women didn't wear things like this long. This is um, no. They wore very short, simple. Yeah, this is like necklaces. Oh yeah, this is like twenty six inch with maybe a three inch, four inch drop. That'd be too long for even. Yeah, person. But if they were long, they tend to wear upper length, and they wrap it around twice and leave a shorter length than a longer. Length. Hey, Heidi. It sounds like I have a cold. <laughs> you are so correct. I have the flu, is what I had. But I'm I'm well enough to try and do this. But yeah, you know, sometimes you got that residual cough and stuff like that. And it's probably my nose is kind of running because I'm talking a lot, which causes vibrations in your. Um, cheekbones under there where all your sinuses are so um, yeah that's what's probably doing it yeah but anyway this would be a cute short piece too I've, I've been tempted to, to shorten it see how yeah I'd be about right if I shorten it right here Anyway, for Regency. So, yeah, Heidi, we're talking about Jane Austen jewelry today. We're doing a little series on Jane Austen jewelry. It's like... Inspired. It's it's um kind of like a class, a very poorly uh, <laughs> constructed class. But, hey, it's free. Um, it's like a little class. I'm basing it on what I used to do when I did responsible repurposing, which we did all kinds of stuff in that. But we never did projects. Never. I don't know why. We never did a project to go with what we were studying. So I thought, well, you know, that might be a good course to do again. And we've already done Regency Georgian. So what we would do next would be the three periods during Victoria's reign, the Romantic, 
and the grand and the aesthetic. You can look those up if you want. Art Nouveau, Art Deco, and Arts and Crafts. That's the big ones. I mean, there were a lot more that go in, you know, in those different genres, but. So those are the ones that's gonna be covered in something. January? Fix on my upper chest and neck for hot milk. Well, thank you. I like, um, I like whiskey. <laughs> I like whiskey, honey, and lemon. Man, that kicks it for me. But anyway, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Is that a locket? No, it's not. But here's the thing. Um, you could glue this. It's just the right size. You could glue this to the front of a locket. I mean, if you got an antique silver locket, you could glue it to the front. You and could do two-tone, though. It beautiful. might look cute. Yeah, you could. I think it would look better if you did it on a silver one, though. I don't know if I have one now that would fit it, but anyway, we don't have this piece anymore either. But, um, yeah, you know, that's what Mr. Bernie always did. He would get a locket, and then he would solder it to a piece of pewter because they knew how to solder pewter to brass. They were good at it. And it would create something wonderful that way and have it plated. So, anyway, this I thought I'd show you this because I thought, you know, this kind of suits. But this is a lava layer in case I didn't say. Anyway, so we So, those other periods that you just mentioned, are uh, those those are going to be the ones that are covered? Well, if we do it. In January? I, I, no, I don't know if we do it. I don't know. I might have a short class first on this Mona Lisa necklace, which we're not bringing out because it has nothing to do with this. But um, I might do something with that first because people have been saying yeah 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 I want a classic it's a very big effusive assemblage piece okay and it's not for everybody but people love to make them because they're fun so anyway so I thought I'd show you this this is uh get them out of that <clears throat> it's a 40 by 30 mount and what I would do with this to make it hang is real quickly I would look for my central bottom because I want to make something hang, and that would be right about here. That should be about good. So I'm going to make sure I get the right one. I'll be messed up. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that out. This is what I love about lace bezels. Sometimes they don't look quite as finished as this one, um, but they preside they provide a lot of design possibilities that wouldn't be otherwise okay so there's that so i go based off of that come up and i'm going to want to make this hang from like here so we'll just pull that out carefully because it could break see i pulled two out don't worry about that just put the one back easy and then maybe this one's the matching so there'd be about three between it that's about right yeah and so I can pull out whatever so I'm gonna slip these girls in here I'm not gonna glue them in because I, I'm not sure quite what I'm gonna do but um, you can see see this one needs to go back I think. Yeah. and you can see I think there's a video on this how to work with the lace edge bezels and showing you know how versatile they're every time I've ever made a piece of jewelry with this bezel when I pulled the ears out I call it the ears um, it sells right away and because the mount is not expensive that's another reason I like to work with them we have the 18 by 13 to the 25 by 8 so I think they're like 65 cents and this is a little more, but I mean, they're. And this is the raw brass. Yeah, it's raw brass. Unplated. I did, yeah, I got it because uh, some of the students wanted um, 18 by 13 bezels that they could put the, the smaller stones into for the collet necklaces. So all I could get was raw and have it done fast. And boy, they did. They got them here quick. But anyway, so now I've got these delightful girls in here. Hey, Beans. Hey. Beans. He Heidi says when she was little, when she got sick, her grandma would give her a hot blackberry brandy. She said she'd be like, oh, oh yeah, that that's, now. that'll work. That'll work too. <laughs> but she was little. She was a little kid. She said, probably go to jail now. Yeah, to do that. yeah for giving a kid the <laughs> flicker. Yeah, you know, a lot of things they did, but they used to give them paragoric to make them go to sleep too. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, they don't do that anymore. So now I've got two delightful little ears for hanging, which I think I'll pull out more. And I've got one here, but you know, I think if I actually go with this, I might pull a couple more. I'll like skip one and go here and go here. I don't think I'd go any farther than that. Oh, but yeah. Chris just said when much. you were pulling the ears, she said she had one of those with one of her last pieces, but she did it backwards, and she glued the piece in first and then tried to pull them out. <laughs> that was the wrong way to do oh, it. Can you get it out? Can you pry it out, maybe? Tell me next time you order, Chris, tell Jordy, and if we have an extra one, we'll send it to you. We might not, but if we do, we'll send it to you. How's that? Lisa says whiskey. Uh huh. I <laughs> yeah. have I have some awesome. Hey Tennessee. Lisa, what's an old Italian remedy? She'll know that. <laughs> you know Lisa. Lisa is Italian. You might not know that. With uh -huh. the last name, she has it sounds like a German last name, but yeah, beans. That's beans. She's she's Italian through and through. Yeah, I have some good Tennessee cinnamon flavored whiskey. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you're half Italian, aren't you? Mm mm. Only no. like a quarter. A quarter. If that. It might not even be that. Well, your mom's is all... No, mm -mm. she's not all Italian. No, she's not. I mean, because you, cause your dad wasn't. Okay. But your your mom is Italian. Yes. Your mom. Mm -hmm. Totally. Anyway, so that's what I do with that. And I'm going to work on this later tonight because I'm not feeling hot and I'm going back to bed after I get my pizza. And I'm going to work on this and I'll show you a picture. But I got a few possibility ideas too. I... I found these old Tombow bees, and these are not on the side anymore. These are rare as hen's teeth. If you have any of them, hoard them. Beans wants to know They're about wonderful. the cameo, though. So that might go with it. Do we have any of that cameo? No, these were out of the stuff Mel sent me. So, But Diane's putting some cameo stuff up that Mel sent. Now, some of the cameos going up, they have residue on the back because they were on boards. I don't know if this one does. I think it did yeah, a little see bit, this? yeah. This doesn't matter But, I mean, you're gluing all. it down. You're gluing it down. I was going to see it. But I'll show you a place where it does matter. And that would be the way I want to use this mount, okay? Because I want to make a piece of mourning jewelry, too. That's and, one of my pieces. But it's got a little bit of residue that hangs out here. I'm going to have to work on it. Oh, it looks like it might come off. Ooh. That's oh, I just really was got fortunate there. The piece I started on last wow. night, it's morning jewelry. Believe me, most of it doesn't, as clean as a whistle. You know, more, most of it does not come off that easy, I'll just tell you. <laughs> so I soaked and soaked and soaked a bunch of them, and I said, you know what, I'm just have to sell these ha as is, because I just don't have time to do them. Do I sell those calves? What, this? No, no, the girls. That was the one that she was asking about, no, the girls. No, no, I only have one. That's the problem with this stuff from Mel, there's only one. That's why he sent it to me. But look at the sight beans, because... Like we said, Mom is putting up a bunch. Yeah, and I'm so. also getting glass cameos in before too long. And you can also put your own images under a dome. We have lots of domes. So if you don't see the size you need, let me know. But anyway, so I thought maybe I'd glue that on there. That's cool. For a morning piece. And then, move this down carefully. We have this chain. Now, it hasn't struck a lot of people yet for some reason. I don't remember what it is. I, I do know it's stone. These are stone beads, and they're hand-wrapped. And um, I'm going to trim this. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for joining. Oh, yay. And, yes, you can go back and rewatch. Oh, Bonnie. I'm so glad you're here, honey. So nice to see ya. So nice to see anybody right now. Okay, so this is going to take a little doing to get apart and get it nice and even so I can. No, I'll just have to take it off. I just saw something. I take this off. Oh, sorry, Colleen. <laughs> what? She said company just dropped in, so she's going to have to rewatch uh, later. <laughs> well, it was nice to have you while we had you. <laughs> little is better than nothing. Yeah, you I You can like watch it chain. later. So anyway, this chain's awesome. It's like a matte um, obsidian onyx type, but it's real. Are those eight millimeter? Mm -hmm. Or they, they might be seven. I think they're six, maybe five or six. <coughs> I don't oh, have my six? measuring calipers here. So, anyway, I thought I'd use that. But I thought first I'd go to the matte black stuff and see if maybe I had a connector to go, like, right here. Because that'd be cool. But I thought that would make a really cool morning type piece. Mm -hmm. And then I had this piece. 
which is a beautiful glass. And this was in the stuff from Mel too. Yeah, this is beautiful beaded chain. I don't know. I, I think I maybe I didn't feature it what, what or, or something because I it's just hanging around and it really shouldn't be. The beads are matte too, which they're I like. Matte, yeah, and I, I really like that too. And they're all hand wrapped. Can you see that? Oh, I'm hand wrapped. Would you like to sit there and do that all day? Not me, baby. I wouldn't be able to get them that even. These people are so talented. Yeah, Deborah likes so, it. Yeah, so she like said. this would be pretty. And I wouldn't put anything else on this, but... Oh, Dara just ordered it. She said that she... Oh, oh thanks, Dara. I wondered why she didn't get any before. Maybe she did, because I thought, man, that's Dara's kind of thing. Now I'm trying to see <laughs> if I can get a little bit of stuff off of here. Yeah, this takes a little bit more work. And I'm going to have to get it off because it makes... It sit up a little bit too high in the in the mount, so you end up. Yeah, it's just crookedy like you can't glue mm -hmm. it. It won't be level, so I have to work on that bit. One more of that. What if you took off. just like a damp washcloth with like some water? Oh, and like, it... baby, it needs more than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. This one's working pretty easy, but I had ones that I had soaking for three days, changing the water every so often. Finally, today, I had a lot of them that came pretty clean. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just have to sell these how it is and give them advice on how to get it off. You can get it off, but I can't sit here. Not for what I'm selling them for, which is ridiculously low price, like I do. Um, and anyway. But yeah, a bunch of beautiful. stuff is going up on the site and on Etsy as well. Mm -hmm. We've been like, so make sure you, you keep an eye out on both places. And this would be pretty that you know you could do my little trick with this too but it might need a little bit more delicate chain that'd be cute yeah. even as like a little um like a velvet choker or something yes oh i wanted to bring i'm so glad you brought that up i want velvet chokers i want <laughs> well we can get them i put my foot down well, you didn't tell me that before i yes. don't know if anybody really want them i just never was we mentioned into it in that the last class did, did we yes oh geez i forgot what velvet chokers Any, anyway i need to get some narrow ribbon for that kind of thing. Because they'd even be cute as like a little simple like headband like in your hair too. That's true. Well that's a video you can do when I get oh. the when I get the velvet. Good. How about that? Okay. <laughs> you can put it on me. <laughs> oh it's the it, pressure. It's, it's so easy. All you have to do is put those clamp ends on and do whatever I you want on there. Clamp ends. Acetone. Yeah, you know that might help too. I but, was thinking acetone. Um I wear a nail polish, not today, but I was wearing nail polish, and I'm like, I don't want to take that off. <laughs> Anisette liquor. Ah, huh. I like Anisette liquor. No, actually, you know. Hey, Rose. Oh, Rose is here, too. I, I'm not a big drinker, being honest. I could Not end, hard liquors. I could end up under the table quick, but, you know, <laughs> it got a cold, so I'm going to be under the table anyway. <laughs> What's the difference? So this is an idea, too. And, oh, I just have to show you this. If any of you have this elephant, I don't have any more. This, you know, a lot of you guys know about these elephants and stuff. You know, there's a whole series of animals that Mel used to make. And I have to get an order for 50. And they're expensive. I have so, the gold one. Um, I have to really, you know, kind of put things up, put fillers out there, how many people will buy, how many people will commit. Because I don't usually charge for them until they come in. But, boy, if you commit, I need you to buy it because I'm stuck. And I, this puts me in a real financial hole. So, anyway, so we didn't, we got enough on the elephant. I think we got enough to do, like, 46. That's, that's yeah, we had, there was a, quite a few that I'll have. have I'll have a few extra. And I got them in different colors. So this is the black one. I had one from when we very first got him in. I have, yeah, the, I have we, the gold. Yeah, we didn't have any trouble selling them the first time we got them, but... Um, I think people say, well, I've seen that one. They want to move on. This is kind of a collectible thing. It's not really something you're going to buy to make a line out of, you know. Oh, look who graced us with her presents. Debbie. Oh, Debbie Nicholas is here. <laughs> I always have to That's give her a hard time. time girl. <laughs> you know who does good with the cats we had is Deb Deborah Long. She did Joanne good. likes the cats, too. Yeah. She, she Debra the has, ones. Deborah has a really good clientele. And a lot of her customers are people, when she goes out to do her shows, in some areas, not everywhere, but a lot of them are like Kentucky Derby type. Oh, 
That's fun. Yeah, well, they, you know, they have money. Mm-hmm. And they don't hesitate to give you 100 125 or something, you know, so she did good with those. But anyway, on the bottom of him is a glass cameo that we had made. Yeah, those are the blue willows that we this had This is on. the image from the 1928 porcelain, it was German porcelain cameo. And we just copied it, and we sent it to our people who make these, and, and they did a good job. So he, I thought that would be kind of cool. And that's the 25 there. by 18. Yeah. I have... But anyway, I thought I'd show you that in case you have one, didn't really know what you wanted to do, that's a thought. I have the elephant in the gold. I have the horse in the silver, the old silver, uh -huh. and then I have the crown. In the gold. Well, I don't know if I do. Oh, I don't have that one. No, which, I do. I have it hanging on a piece of which jewelry. Which is actually going to be my second piece that I'm making for the challenge. Ooh, yeah. awesome. But, you know, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have one each of the, of the cat. I saved them. And I had one each of the, of the, uh, each color that, you know, we had done. Um, and I had that and the elephant. And then the horse, I only have one, and that's in rusted, what do they call that? Rusted iron. The rusted iron. Yeah, I have it in the old silver. Color. Yeah, those are awesome. And pieces. I used it with our blue I wish I could stone. get him again, but I got it. I got to buy 50, and he yeah, he jacked up the price again, too, so I just can't do it. So I wear my sad, elephant but true. That's, I mean, quite there, a bit. There are so many pieces from that line that were so special, and you're just never going to find anything like it. And, you know, i really love to have them again, but um, a lot of you already have it. You have one or two, and that's enough for you. You know, I understand, but I just can't get anything from him again that's like that. Unless maybe he'll take pity on me. He's, he, he gave me all this stuff here, so and I'm working for it, let me tell you. So I have this little heart. I don't know if you can see. I mean, I left it up. I can zoom in. Yeah. Isn't that cute? There's a little bee on a daisy and, and little um, flower and pearlies and stuff like that. This is epoxy sculpt. When was the last time we played with epoxy sculpt? I don't know. But you know, epoxy sculpt, you, you can do what you want with it. I mean, it, it's such a chameleon. Let's see the back. That's what it looks like. And I just poke little holes in it. You can use uh, this tool. Oh, so you made the wait. So you made the whole heart out of mm -hmm. epoxy. Yeah, it's epoxy skull. Oh! I made the shape, and then I just had stuff ready because you only got about an hour of work. And yeah, just, it dries fast. Just, just that press, is the one thing about it. Press them in. But, but then I, your I've stuff does not budge. Let me say, no, when you put stuff in no, it, it does not budge because it's resin clay mm -hmm. in it. It's the so best. So it's like its own glue. As far as I know, it's the best resin clay there is. This is the original one, epoxy sculpt. There have been a lot of people who want to reverse engineer epoxy sculpt and this and that. And Sarah Lynn was one of them. And I like Sarah Lynn, but it doesn't approximate epoxy sculpt. It's, it's just much better. Plus, it's a lot more expensive. A lot more expensive, a lot less expensive to use. And so they gave you get this little tiny piece like that, you know. You I get, like that you, you can mix like, the colors, too. Yeah. Like, I like to take the epoxy and I like to marble it, yeah. like, within the colors. You just have yeah. to be careful that you don't mix it too much. Yeah, you get, an, get a and, muddy. an A and B. Has to, you get yeah. part A and part B. So and you mix equal parts. You, you get four ounces of it for it's gone up in price. I think it's close to twenty bucks now. But for what it is, my goodness, it's not expensive. And you only use like the littlest bit at a time. Yeah, and you just seal it up real good, and then you know you fun. But if you ever want to try to do, I mean, get your little bits and bottles together. We you have know. videos on it. Yeah, too. we oh we have a lot of videos, and we and did mosaics box. with it and things. We had lots of fun, so I thought that one might be. A, I think I even a, had a video on the marbling. Maybe with it. Maybe you did. Uh, so I thought, well, these are kind of big. So then I thought, maybe what about this? Aha, uh -huh, that's pretty. But maybe silver chain would be... No, that's gold on that. Yeah, so, you know, just something a little bit delicate is, is really pretty. I think we have smaller <coughs> pearl chain. 
<laughs> we did sold. Oh, did it sold? I have to get more. You know, that's like, if only I could keep everything that I have that's successful and does well in stock, we'd probably have no problems here. But I just, it can't. I just can't. So I Debbie get, and Heidi get them as I can. say that they love epoxy. Stuff. Yeah, Heidi loves it too. Oh, so does Dara. And yep. Heidi knows her stuff and so does Dara. You guys all know your stuff. It's because I taught you, except I didn't teach Heidi. She should be teaching me. She's way beyond me, guys, in case you don't know Heidi. Heidi's a, a teacher and uh, she does all kinds of stuff. She's a wonderful artist of all kinds of stuff. And I, I love it when she comes. <clears throat> So anyway, that's, those are the things that I had, you know, in mind. Let me bring them all down here. So it's, you know, for this session to share with you. And um, let me get this one stretched out again. So, yeah, a lot of the stuff for Regency jewelry, <clears throat> I kind of tend to think of it now as, as Jane Austen jewelry. And that means younger people. And they wear big, big pieces you know um, i watched emma last night yeah. to get me i did the too which I one watched... did you watch Gwen gwyneth so did i yeah. and then i watched another version there's one they made a couple years yeah, ago yeah 2020 i watched it, it yeah. was okay i can't remember that girl's name but she's real familiar it was okay yeah it oh, was look, different it wasn't so it wasn't okay. terrible i found another one <laughs> anybody wants this let me know i've got another one Another one over there, too, I think. I think I do. Anyway, so, yeah, so it was, you know, easier, smaller jewelry. But even something like this is a little bit more effusive. But, you know, it's about the parts. You know, this is... This is our still interpretation. Not, it's still not, you know, over the top in any way. It's, there's a lot going on, but it's delicate. And that's kind of what that was. Not the Georgian jewelry. The Georgian stuff was heavy duty. But the Regency era, not so much. The best place to go for inspiration, besides Bisou Boutiques, of course, <laughs> is um, the just punch in Jane Austen jewelry on Pinterest. And you'll find a bunch. And there's some videos, too. On YouTube, but um, not as many as I would have liked. Maybe this one will uh, spur some other people to do, spur some other people to do them. But anyway, so that's kind of what I had on tap for today. Does anybody have something they want to talk about or um, comments? I think we decided we're doing Saturday, right? Yeah, class. Sa Saturday at 3. And I had thought we'd maybe do some earrings and bracelets or something. But just a little tip on the um, earring thing. Most of the earrings in the Regency era, anyway, were... Very simple. Yeah, but they were long. They were uh, long teardrops. Well, I have lots of those. Um, I think Diane just put up the black glass ones, which are perfect for this. And um, I have those ones that look like coral. We have those up. Those are my favorites. The carved beads. Mm, those are awesome. Mm -hmm. We that, have. I put some up on Etsy. There was like a salmony color, and mm, then we have the blue. Yeah, that blue. If you guys got any, or if I have a little bit yet, and knuckle down on that and get it because it's hard to get. I have been waiting for several months to be able to get it, so it's hard to get. But the corally colored one isn't. So anyway, so there's that. So anyway, <clears throat> let's see what. Thanks so much for your amazing wounds. Oh, you're you're just so generous, Heidi. Come on, <laughs> but I appreciate it very much. You give me, you give me more confidence. But sometimes I just, you know, I'm getting older now. I can't remember things, and and I think, well, what can I? But you know, sometimes I go back and I watch my own videos. Why well, I always do. I always check them, and um, I'll say. That's not so bad. <laughs> we can't make them as polished as they used to be with, with Javi. And we have to figure out how to show me and then show this, because that's a friendly thing to do. You know, I haven't shown myself for a long time. Um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We appreciate you guys coming. So what I also wanted to say is before we take off today, and I didn't say it at the beginning, 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd appreciate it if you would. And you can hit that little bell icon and then YouTube will ding you every time I'm on. In case you forgot the time or something, it'll ding you. And if you can come, you can come then. But of course, all the videos are archived, so you can come back and watch them as many times as you like. And over and over again, if you like. So that's kind of cool. That, and then if you works. could give us a little thumbs up, like, and a comment yeah. once the video is actually posted. Yes. If you could leave just a little comment underneath, and that would be And we need to clarify great. where that needs to go. Because you guys are making comments all along here. Said, what are you talking about? I mean, no, that's not it. This, yeah, I mean, this is live. Th what you put on here helps us to have a good video because it's like we're talking back and conversation. forth. Conversation. We, we have conversation and banter. So, oh, thank you, Betty. Yeah, I hope to, Melissa. I hope to feel better. Um, blue and gold. Yeah, you like that? That does kind of look like a Debbie thing. You should make some. Um, yeah, I'm talking about putting comments underneath the video. Once it's actually like, posted. You know, where the description of the video yeah, once it's, where that is. If you go back and look at some of our other videos, you fall down on them, you'll see people left a comment there. And it could be as much as just hi. Um, or you can ask me a question, and I'll try to answer. I haven't looked at it for a couple of days, and I need to. And I've been saying, uh, oh, we always answer. But um, you were sick. We'll cut you a little slack. I'm going to get you to get <laughs> on it and go look at them so you can answer for me sometimes. Okay. You have to yeah, answer. I try to answer mine and as you well. Have to so, but yeah, own. that's this real important. I didn't realize that for a long, long time how important that is. But if you could leave me a comment, that helps our rank at YouTube. It also helps our rank out at there in the, at Google because YouTube is Google and Google is YouTube. I don't know if you realize that, but it's a powerful, powerful search engine. When you do that, Google YouTube. Looks at it and says, oh, hey, people must like her. Let's show more. Or let's direct them to the, her website, you know. Or send them to, I don't know where else, my newsletter link or my blog or whatever. But um, anyway, it helps us right across the board mm -hmm. all the it way. It gives us a little bit more traction. Yeah, it gives us a little more traction. Traffic. And we need that. You know, when I first started doing this, I didn't have problems getting people to watch. And we had a lot of subscribers that grew kind of quick. Um, but now at YouTube, there's so much content. And there's so many people. There are so many people teaching how to make jewelry. And they're good at it. You know, I'll give them chops. If they're good. And I've learned from a lot of them as well. But um, I think I have unique content and, and good to watch. And so if you can uh, do that for us and help us to get a rank up at, at Google and YouTube, I because we can't do it ourselves. You have to do that. That's what they require. They want to know what you think. What the so public I can't thinks. fudge that in any way. I can't buy it. Um, you know, it, it's, I, it's not like advertising. I could buy the most effective way at YouTube are those comments. So, and those, and the likes. Super important. Also, the subscribes are all important. So, anyway, and we, we crossed another uh, little threshold not too long. We have 41K subscribing. Where they all are, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they didn't click the bell so they get dinged. But anyway, yeah. We have a lot of people who like us, so um, tell your friends, because not everybody comes to watch. Anyways, that's all I know about that. She says she learned so much from the videos. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Karen Gale. I appreciate it. Thank you, dear. Thanks, all of you. Thanks, all of you, for coming. We had a nice little group today. And my voice got a little better as I coughed along. Oh, I know what it is. It's Betty's cough drops. Oh, yeah. That's it. Betty's cough drop. Betty Stroman's cough. They're thieves. They're called thieves, friend. Like T-H-I-E-V-E-S, like robbers. <laughs> I guess it's pretty popular, brand. She sent me some time ago a couple bags of them. And she says, you need to keep these. You need to keep, keep them around you because you, they really help. And boy, do they. 
definitely really help. I think that's why I'm not struggling so much because I took that. So anyway, so thank you so much. Yay. You've been wonderful. I'm looking forward to the hair jewelry. Yeah. I'm not doing hair jewelry. I thought you said you were. No, I don't have that skill. Dara does. You said you were going to talk about hair jewelry. You got me all excited. Well, I don't, you know, here's the thing with hair jewelry. <laughs> I can get pictures in a book or off Pinterest. <laughs> I don't have any. I have handled a lot of hair jewelry in my time because, you know, I was, well, I still do some antiques. But I did them heavy duty back in the 80s and 90s. Um, I handled a lot of it, but my hands shake too bad. There's no way I'm working with hair. Now, I know Dara, she, she suffered long and hard with it too, but she got it. She got it. She got really good. But I've never bought any hair jewelry. I, you know, it's like, if it was my loved one's hair, then in Dara's case, it was, I think she said her daughter's, um, I would have problem wearing that. But somebody I don't know, I can appreciate what's done with it. Some of the stuff is so intricate. But over time and, you know, the ravages of time, it, um, it'll kind of shred. And I've seen a lot of pieces that went bad too. And fixing that, you know, you got to find an expert. It costs more than it's worth because it's hard. We have cute little bottles oh, that would so. be Oh, adorable. thanks, Karen. And thanks, um, Robin, for for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. So glad you came. Boy, all these people came and stayed mm -hmm. with us, too. That's yeah. always um, such a privilege, such a gift to me when I see that you stayed with me. All, a lot of people don't, and I don't blame them because I drone on. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that right now. So I'll see you on Saturday. Saturday How's that? at 3. And, and don't forget Eastern time. to post anything you make for this challenge. We only have, I think, 10 or 11 people who've posted yet. Maybe you thought you posted. If you haven't, be sure that you put it, hashtag Be Sue Jane. All one word. Get in there because you know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. When this is over on November 20th, on the 21st, I'm going to do a simple drawing of everybody who posted something. It'll and be a random can, and drawing. And you can post several times. And the person who wins gets $100 free shopping at Pizza Boutiques. And that's nothing to sniff at. That's, and in, if that, you make more than one piece, that counts as yeah, another you, you, entry. Yeah. So I'm not, usually I limit that. I say, oh, they have to be unique entries. But this time, I'm not going to. So, you know, the more you post, the more chances you have. Yep. And I hope you will. And uh, that's all I know about that. So, once again, I can't tell you how grateful I am that um, you took an interest in what I have to do and what I have to share. And that your, your friendship means an awful lot to me, too. These are tough times. We're struggling along. But one way or another, things work out. Like, I have to tell you this before I go. I keep thinking one more thing. Um... This lady sent us an order this afternoon, and it was during the time that the site was down. And I thought, wow, because it was full of 404 errors. But if you snuck in there and you got it into your cart just the right time, it would go in the cart. And once it was in the cart, you're fine. Hey, Maria, how you doing? Thanks for coming, Deborah. Um, so once you get your stuff in the cart, that's fine because that holds it. This 404 stuff has to do with the design of site. does not affect the back door at all. So she hung in there. She told us she hung in there getting her stuff in the cart as she could. Because once in a while, you know, it'll lighten up and you'll actually be able to get something in. She said, I was on here for at least an hour trying to get stuff in the cart. And I finally did. But it was worth it, she said. And I thought, what a high... You know, because most people would just say, I'm out of here. I ain't messing with this. Or I'll come back later or whatever. But she wanted that stuff. And she wanted it now. So she hung in there until she could get it. And I thought, wow. That was really special, I have to say. There are a lot of special people out there. And I know it's hard times for a lot of you, too. So I do appreciate your orders. I love to see what you do with this stuff. And I love to hear that you've had a good show if you do shows. And I love to see your 
you know, your photography, your pictures. And I, I love to hear that you sold something, however you sold it. I love to hear that you're doing okay and you're making some money with it. If that's what you do. Some of us don't. And that's okay. So, um, anyway. So, once again, thank you guys. Good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clap one more time. You get two claps this time. We really, <laughs> truly are taking off because we're a little bit over time. But I appreciate everyone coming out today. It was really exciting to see how many did. And now I'm going to go eat pizza and go to bed. <laughs> Sounds exciting, right? Okay, I love you all. Hugs love and kisses. Guys. And it's safe to send you hugs and kisses because you can't get my cold from here. <laughs> all righty. We'll see you Let's guys.